This is Joe with U.S. Sander. We're going to be doing three videos here. First one is on pulling apart the old box on your Hummel. Second video will be testing to make sure your windings are still good. And then the third video will be installing the new box. So before you begin, first you want to make sure you disconnect the power from your box. Pull the cover off the box and inside here we have two capacitors. This one and this one. They need to be discharged. This one has a resistor on it already so it is discharged. To discharge this one you can just simply short the terminals with a screwdriver. The next thing we need to do is label the original motor wires. There's four motor wires that are going to be numbered and two additional start wires that we're concerned about. Those are 22, 11, 2, and 1. Now 22 and 11 are connected directly to the switch here and here. So this one we know is 22. So we'll label that one. This lower one is 11 as labeled on the switch. Now one and two are a little bit more difficult. They're not actually connected directly to the switch. They're connected to the contactor over here. So if we disconnect number one wire from the switch, and we pull that back, we should be able to find where it's connected. This appears to be the number one wire here went to this terminal on the switch which tells us this is the number one motor wire because it went to that same terminal. Now the number two wire similarly connects down below here under 2. Now they're not the same as 0, 1, and 0, 2. You can ignore those. So our number 2 wire feeds over to here, right next to. The, on most Hummels this is where they'll be connected unless someone has changed wiring in the box. So you just want to confirm that. And so this is our number two motor wire. Now also connected on the number two is this blue wire. This blue wire is actually a start wire. We want to label it as 2 because later on it will be connected with that number 2. The other start wire is connected to the run capacitor over here. In this case we can easily identify it because it's the same color as the other start wire. Typically they'll both be the same color. There will be a wire on the other side of the run capacitor that feeds over to the switch and this wire feeds over to the other capacitor. So you'll have three wires total, you just have to determine which one goes into the motor, that's your start wire.
With these six wires labeled, we can now go ahead and take off this box. We don't need to worry about any of the rest of the wires. The A wires can get disconnected. These small wires feed into the motor, just get cut off. We won't need those later on.